Welcome to the online presentation, week one of ENGL 540, Analytical Perspectives in English Grammar. I'll break this uh, online presentation into four sections so that you have more flexibility in accessing it, downloading it, and so on. We'll sail through this semester together despite the challenges imposed by external conditions, I hope it will be a very enjoyable and successful semester for you. The topic then is the grammar of English and exploring the grammar of English more specifically as a resource for making meaning. When we say the grammar of English, that's really shorthand for the lexical grammar meaning grammatical structure, grammatical words or grammatical items, also called functional words, and vocabulary or lexis, lexical items. So these are the resources of wording in the overall system of the English language. We'll come back to this. The outline for today's presentation is as follows. There are two main parts. The first one is about the course itself, about ENGL 540. And having gone through these more administrative aspects of it, uh, I will turn to a uh, discussion of approaches to grammar in general and a kind of intro into the grammar of English. So about ENGL 540, I'll say a few words about the timetable, about objectives, learning outcomes, assessment and resources. And then moving into the topic of, of the whole semester, uh, I'll talk about approaches to grammar and the grammar of English, and there'll be a number of sections. Approaches to grammar, traditional versus modern scientific, then the location of grammar within language and context, then as an illustration about how we can probe the grammar, ask questions about it, some questions about the grammar of English, and we'll deal with one today, and then another one next week. And then a preview of the grammar as a resource of making meaning, strands of meaning in the clause, using a song, a song of protest, we shall not be moved, as an introductory example. So about ENGL 540. Our timetable, we have uh, meetings on Thursdays, 8.30, no, 18.30 to 21.20. Now, this is really, of course, for the face-to-face -face, uh, part of the course, currently expected to start in April. We'll see. But whenever we need to have a synchronous, uh, real-time uh, meeting, we will use a slot so that everybody is coordinated. So that's the slot face-to-face -face teaching, and when the need arises, we will use this, as I said, for a synchronous online presentation as well. I expect that we will experiment with this in week two, uh, not this week. So that's our time slot. What are the objectives? Well, if you look at the course outline downloaded from the English website, the objectives are as follows. So the course outline says, this subject encourages students to consider the nature of English grammar through critical analysis of its key traditional concepts and terms. Students are also helped to understand the limitations of traditional grammar and the importance of functional analysis, particularly at the level of discourse. Students explore applications of grammar, including the role of grammar in the creation of registers and genres. Grammar here is viewed as part of a larger language system encompassing meaning and discourse. In this respect, the subject has clear affinities with other subjects that focus on semantics, lexis, and discourse. So as far as uh, I'm concerned this semester, uh, ENGL 519. Uh, the objectives sort of focus on talking about the grammar, but very importantly, we also need to develop a sense of the grammar itself, in this case the grammar of English as a resource not just what people have said about it. Now, learning outcomes.
there are A, B, C, D, E, F, six learning outcomes, okay? Uh, and it says, upon completion of the subject, students will be able to A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? Now, interestingly, from a grammatical point of view, what we'll be talking about through the semester is a key process here. You will be able to. So the focus is really on, on potentiality, ability. And so noted in the outline, all learning outcomes are stated in terms of what you will be able to do at the end of the course or successive stages through the course. Now, technically, in terms that we'll meet as we go through the semester, the description of the gamble you meet, uh, you will meet later, your learning outcome is couched in terms of one, tense, future, that's appropriate enough, and two, modality, modulation, readiness, potentiality, which includes ability. So that's what you can expect from your learning outcomes. What about assessment? Well, uh, my teammate, collaborator in delivering this, Joseph Coffey and I, we're still working on this. Uh, it's, it will be somewhat different from a previous semester simply because of the very different conditions under which uh, we're doing this ENGL 540 together. Uh, we will adjust the assessment in such a way uh, that is fully accessible uh, and manageable under present conditions. So there will be three assignments of roughly equal weight, uh, maybe some skewing. They will all be delivered through and submitted to Blackboard and you'll be given several days to complete each assignment, taking as much time as you need. So there is no time pressure in doing the assignments. The assignments involve straightforward tasks and you will be given extensive opportunity to practice tasks of this kind, including through Kahoot sessions. And as I said, Joseph and I are still discussing uh, these assignments since they will need to be adapted to the total new situation of an extended period of online teaching. He and or I will give you more information very soon. And we have resources for you. Uh, a, the main uh, location of the resources in a shared folder uh, for ENGL 540. This shared folder is uh, a Dropbox folder we will also set up with Wangbo's help, uh, help a Baidu folder if you can't access Dropbox in the mainland. Uh, and this Dropbox folder you've been invited to share uh, and uh, I think a number of you already joined the Dropbox folder, accepted the invitation. Uh, currently there are four subfolders, some demonstrations, displays and summaries, an e-library and exercises. Now the e-library is quite extensive so it's not just textbook material it's designed to be an area where you can explore interest in the uh, different aspects of the grammar of English okay. uh, for each week I will indicate uh, what will be useful readings uh, and to begin with I will probably send them out by email as well in any case uh, you will have all this material in Dropbox folder separately I will invite you to a folder that includes last year's presentation. Of course, they're different uh, from what we have this uh, semester, but if you sort of want to look ahead by going back in time and see to, to explore what we did last semester, uh, you can do so. But that is a separate folder that I will invite you to. So this is the first end of the first section, uh, and the next section then we will uh, go to section two, out of four.